is no doubt the most popular pets in Australia are dogs and cats, but maybe you fancy something just a, a little bit different, eh? Does that mean it's a little bit slimy? Maybe cute and cuddly? Maybe soft and furry? Or maybe really quite exotic? What about this? A bearded dragon. Now that's different. So if you're going to get one, what do you need? Well, you need a tank. Now, what goes in the tank is important, and that's a little bit up to you. So think where this lizard actually came from. Central Australia, what's there? Red sand. You need to have something for them to climb up on, because as you can see, these little guys are actually enjoying basking under what is a heat lamp. And what do you feed them? Well, they're like us. They're omnivores. They like a bit of everything. They need fruit and vegetables, but their favourite would have to be crickets. Crickets on their own aren't enough. We need to dust them with some calcium to make sure that these little guys grow up big and strong. To give any native animal, you're going to need a licence in most states of Australia. Now, you can buy these little guys and their food at most good quality pet shops and expect to pay somewhere around 700 bucks for both the lizard and the tank setup. They're animated, they're attractive, and they're one of my favourite lizards. If you want a pet that your kids can cuddle and carry around with them, you honestly can't go past guinea pigs. Now, notice I said pigs, plural. It's important to get two, and they should always be the same sex. They're low maintenance and easy to look after. You've got to learn to speak guinea pig. It's all about squeaking. They need a hutch. They need somewhere to hide. Diet is the most important thing of all. 70 to 80 per cent hay, and the rest quality fruit and veg. Prices vary, but somewhere around 300 bucks will get you started for the animals and the hatch. Yep, you need to. Now, these guys are cute, but they're definitely not cuddly. That's a baby long-necked turtle. We don't have any tortoises in Australia. They're all turtles, because they're all aquatic. So there are two main species that are kept in captivity. The long-necks and the short-necks now, the long necks are just about entirely carnivorous. These guys, on the other hand, are omnivores. In other words, more greens and less meat. As far as costs go, a turtle and a tank set will set you back around $450. But prices vary. What about something that's a little smaller and very low maintenance? You can't go past one of these. A hermit crab, but you're going to need a specially set up tank to keep them. For a couple of crabs in a tank, expect to pay somewhere around 100 bucks, And don't forget, a couple of those spare shells. What about stepping up to something a little bit bigger? When it comes to low maintenance pets, you cannot beat these guys. They're stick insects or phasmids. These particular ones are spiny leaf insects. They're the ultimate when it comes to camouflage. Easy to look after because they eat gum leaves. You keep them in a tank, you spray it regularly to keep the whole area humidified. And that, my friends, is about it. And at $15 for each insect and $50 for the setup, they're a very inexpensive pet too. I love them. So if you're thinking of getting a new pet, what about one of these, eh? This is an albino python straight from the Northern Territory. I mean, think about it. It doesn't chew up your slippers, it doesn't scratch the furniture, it doesn't bark and it doesn't chase the postman. What's more, it may just very well chase those nasty in-laws right at your front gate.